Well, you know, on these uh, Saturday mornings when I play all the Hank Williams records, it's mighty fine to have all these best-selling records. But this morning, man, we got something better than that. We have the man himself, Hank Williams. Hank, how are you? All fine, Bob. It's awful good to see you again, fella. Hank, it's mighty good to see you. Hey, world be nice to you, I suppose. Oh, just fine as can be. How's everybody around Atlantic City getting along? Oh, they're doing fine, Hank. The way your records are selling all over the country and the uh, way that Billboard and all these magazines write you up, I should say uh, you're doing okay. Well, we're we're eating about three times a day, I reckon. Well, uh, who's this very attractive young lady you have here with you? That's my war department. That's my boss there. That's headquarters, in other words. Uh, that's Miss Hank. Could we get her to say a few words? Maybe she would be glad to. Uh, might I ask you first, Mrs. Hank, uh, how did he ever get uh, such an attractive wife? May I say that, or <laughs> would that be the wrong thing to say? <laughs> well, we, I tell you, we just won't go into that. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> it's certainly nice to have you on our program, too. I understand that, uh, uh, some time ago you did some numbers with Hank, is that right? Yes, that's right. We did a couple, I believe, for MGM. Well, that's fine. It certainly is a pleasure to have both you folks here. Hank, what's uh, up for the future? What records you got coming out? What can you tell us about the future? Well, you got this new one called Long Gone Lonesome Blues? Oh, I reckon I have, boy. Spend it every day. Oh, that's fine. And uh, I don't know what's coming up next. They don't tell me. They tell it what everybody else finds out, so I do. Uh, uh, by the way, Audrey's going to make some records here a little later. He's talking to her about the recording. She's going to record for Decker. You ought to have some of them for long. I sure do. Now, I'm going to look for them, Hank. I don't have any of them now, but... Uh, uh, oh, she hadn't made them yet. <laughs> well, maybe that's why I haven't got any yet. That's possible. Say, Hank, how was this overseas trip you took here a while back? Oh, that was a fine deal, man. We went to, where did we go, honey? You went with us. We went to Berlin. We went to Vienna. We went to Wiesbaden. We strictly went to Wiesbaden, didn't we? <laughs> that's, uh, we went all over the occupied zone over there where they had any boys at all. We went to see them. And by the way, on the 19th, me and the boys are going to Alaska and see all the boys up there. Going to go up and uh, pick them a few tunes. That is, if we can get thought out enough. Well, Hank, that's mighty fine. I tell you, there's uh, another thing, too, I'd like to ask you right now. How is that uh, young fella, Randall Hank, getting along? You mean Bo Cephas, huh? Bo Cephas, is that what he is? Yeah, I got to call him that when he was first born, and I thought he got to where he won't answer to nothing now. Well, Hank Williams, it's uh, been nice being with you once again, and I'd like to tell you that I still think that you're number one in friendliness and the number one hillbilly artist today. It's a pleasure to play your records because you are such a nice guy and because the records are so good. Anything you'd like to tell the good folks in Alabama? Yeah, that's awfully kind of you, Bob. You know, Alabama's my home. as always, uh, but let's go to our homes, huh? And my wife both come from Alabama, and we're sort of partial to the folks in Alabama. And in fact, we're always talking about Alabama everywhere we go. I get back down to Montgomery about, say, every two or three months and see my mother. She lives down there. My wife's people live down below Troy, Alabama. We go down quite often. We stay in pretty close contact with Alabama. I say thanks to everybody for requesting these tunes, and... Uh, we really appreciate it, and every time you buy one of these records, remember, it's not that I need the money so bad, but the folks I owe need it awfully bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hank Williams. And Mrs. Hank, mighty glad to have had you with us today, too. Thank you, and I was glad to be with you. And we'll be looking for those records you're going to make. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Now I like candy and I like cake I like jam, but goodness sake There's nothing that sweet as my baby
That counts. Well, I like candy and I like cake and I like jam, but for goodness sake, there's nothing as sweet as my baby. 